I'd say that 90% of the things that I do on guitar, if I had taken lessons and learned by the book, uh, I would not play it all the way I do. Instead of reading a book, I wrote my own. This is what drives me to tear things apart. Some of it is necessity, and some of it is just experimenting, because I'm always pushing things past what it's supposed to be. Crossing the Gibson with the Fender was kind of necessity, because there was no guitar on the market that did what I wanted. What I really loved about uh, a Fender guitar was the Vibrato bar, except they only came with single coil pickups. Which had high volume, they squeal, and they're very thin sounding. Uh, Gibson made humbucking pickups, similar to these. Uh, they cancel them home, and it has a, fat, a much fatter sound. And they proceeded to take a chisel and, and a hammer and make, make a hole big enough for a Gibson pickup. I wondered if it would work if I just hooked the, the humbucking pickup straight up to one knob. And it worked. So I obviously never blank piece of wood with the guitar. It sounded great, did everything I wanted. Uh, and I painted it black. And um, then I put some of the wine. There was some tape laying there. I just started taping it up, take a razor blade, just cut pieces out. And I spray painted it white. And I tape over it again and spray painted it red. Zeppelin's playing, and, and Jimmy Page is going like this. He's going. Okay, yeah. so he's got his hand up you know, in, in the air, and I'm going. So, so basically, I just moved the nut. You know, figuring that, that out, then, then I started actually making. Uh, pieces, you know, like, like eruption. You just play until the day you die. I feel like a six year old punk kid who plays guitar in a rock and roll band and I'm so blessed and so honored to be able to do that to make the music for the song that I love.